Today we're going to be talking about the 1948 Ford F5 school bus that I found abandoned in the forest. It had been there for over 25 years until I found it and began the restoration. It's surprising how creepy and decrepit the bus looked when we found it. It was completely covered in a thick blanket of moss, had lots of ferns growing off of it, and uh, there was even branches and everything that had come down over the years, so you could hardly even see it deep in the forest. But uh, I knew it was something special when we saw it, and it needed to be saved. My favorite part of the entire restoration would probably be the fact that this uh, used to be a church bus, and I was able to discover that with the painting on the outside, and was able to contact the prior church that is a 125-year-old Christian church that's still in operation. Um, one of the oldest uh, Christian churches on the West Coast. Now when it came to cleaning the bus out, the first step was literally to get the live rats that were living in the bus out of it. So once all the rats were out of it, then I had to clean up all their nests and the feces and everything. It was, it was several inches deep with uh, rat poop and garbage. And then we got it to where we were ready to pressure wash it and start washing the, the outside and inside of the bus. The bus, I guess from a previous owner, had installed a cast iron cloth foot bathtub in the back of it. It was all framed in. Did a pretty good job, but over the years the rats had taken home in it and messed it up. So I literally had to rip all of that stuff out. For the deconstruction part of the inside, I had to use hammers and pry bars and uh, tear some of that construction apart. Um, even had to break out the sawzall and cut through some of that lumber to get that stuff out of here. Ultimately, I did come back with some sanitation solution and went back and really cleaned the inside and really decontaminated the whole inside, sterilizing everything. Now the outside of the bus, when we found it, was covered in moss and ferns and small trees even on the top. But once we started washing it and uh, pulling that stuff off, it came off fairly easy and underneath it looked great. The paint was still holding up all those years. And then once we pressure washed it, then me and the family, my, my girls and my wife went out there and hand washed the whole thing top to bottom. Most of that came off with the rake and pressure washing and just uh, pulled right off of there. There was some stubborn spots on the hood that were really bad and there's a product, uh, a company that had been helping me before, Super Clean, and they'd sent me some uh, degreaser and a little bit of that solution and uh, just a little bit of elbow grease and scrubbing and that all came off. The engine bay actually was a giant rat's nest. It went from the ground all the way up through the engine bay, all the way up to where you couldn't even close the hood anymore. And there was rats actively living in it when I found it. And they would run out when I'd start cleaning and then I just had to get all their sticks and nesting out of there. Ultimately, I brought out a generator and shot back and got in there and just cleaned out all of that debris that was in there. We're getting all that rat nest out of there. Now, this whole process of getting the bus out of the forest and back on the road driving again is probably taken about a year and a half or so. And now I'm driving the bus regularly and it's a blast. Now as far as the interior goes and restoring that, we still got a long ways to go. I mean, for the most part, it's in good shape, but all the seats and everything had been removed. But down the road, I think we're going to keep working on the interior and keep making improvements. After I discovered that uh, it used to be their bus and that they were still in operation, it was wonderful to reach out and contact the pastor. He had told me that they were watching the videos and that there was one member, an 87-year-old woman named Mary, that used to ride the bus as a child and her dad would drive it. So I decided that I was going to make a, a reunion trip with the bus back to the church. And that took us a 400-mile round trip back to the old Stafford Baptist Church. And we had a reunion. It was a great day. And I met with Mary and she told me the story of her dad driving the bus and she would sit right behind him. So that was my favorite part, was uh, making that whole history come a full circle and learning more about the bus. <laughs>